Jimmy! Hi there! Today's experiment involves a substance that can be both a liquid and a solid. It's called Ooblek. Ooblek. Funny name. It's actually taken from a Dr. Seuss book, Bartholomew and the Ooblek. Anyway, let's take a look. So what this is, is it's a mixture of cornstarch and water. That's one part water to two parts cornstarch. And after it's mixed up, it's like a liquid and you can run your fingers through it like that. But watch, you can pick it up and it becomes a solid. <laughs> and as long as you keep it moving, it will stay that way. Now watch. It goes back to a liquid. <laughs> That's just cool. Look at this. You can roll it up into a ball. Awesome. Look at that. <laughs> it just oozes back. How come a liquid can behave like a solid and then like a liquid again as if on cue? Ublek is what's known as a non-Newtonian fluid. This basically means that it behaves differently than Newtonian fluids such as water in that its consistency changes when force is applied to it. If you were to punch your fist into a bowl of water, it would of course splash everywhere. But do the same thing to Ublek and it will resist the blow on impact. That's because one of Ublek's characteristics is that it's a suspension, meaning that the particles of cornstarch don't actually dissolve in the water, but are actually free-floating solids with water in between them. It's the same thing as quicksand. When force is applied to the Ublek, the particles of cornstarch get pushed together, while the water gets squeezed out from around the area that's under pressure. This makes the Ublek solid, so solid in fact, that if you had a tank full of this stuff, you would be able to run across it without sinking, so long as you kept your feet moving. If you liked this experiment, please share it on Facebook or Twitter or wherever else, and make sure to watch my other cool science experiments. And don't forget to subscribe. Alright, I'll see you next time.